All right, we're going to go ahead and solve this system of equations for x and y using elimination. All right, to use elimination, we need to choose first which variable we want to eliminate. And, and neither of these are super convenient to eliminate first, so we really get to choose uh, randomly which variable we want to eliminate. So, uh, in order to do this, uh, the thing we want is for the coefficients to be the same, and then we usually make them opposites, all right? So let's say we're go going to eliminate the x's first. So notice I need the coefficients of x, which are in this case is 3 and 5. We need those to be the same. Uh, it's kind of like finding common denominators. I'm just going to multiply for example, the 3 by 5, I'll use common uh, factors or multiples of 3 and 5, which would be 15. So 3 times 5 is 15. Uh, but if I do it to one of the terms, I, I need to do it to all of the terms here so that I don't uh, cause the equation to go unbalanced. So that gives me then a 15x minus 10y equals 10. Now, in the second equation, notice I need to multiply these by 3. And the reason for that is to make the coefficient of x 15. Now that the coefficients of x are the same, we need them to be opposites now. So, usually we change the bottom one uh, for no other reason than it can be easily seen that it's, we're going to subtract there. But if I change that sign, I need to change the signs on the other terms as well. Now we can combine these, okay? Notice 15x minus 15x is 0. So we could just say that this becomes a 0. We can erase these if we want. Whatever you want to do just to show that these are canceled out, they're removed, they're taken away, 0 paired, whatever you want to say there, okay? Now the y is negative 10y plus 15y would give us a positive 5y and 10 minus 30 would be a negative 20 there and if we divide both sides by 5 we'll have the value of y which is negative 4 so in the point for this we know the y now is negative 4 now we need to use one of the equations in order to solve for x doesn't matter which one we use we just need to use one of them so I'm going to go ahead and use the top one, 3x minus 2y equals 2. But instead of y, since we think it's negative 4, I'm going to replace it with a negative 4 and solve. So there we got 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. So 3x minus negative 8 equals 2. We'll make that a plus. Then we'll subtract 8 from both sides. And we have 3x equals negative 6. Dividing both sides by 3 tells us that x is a negative 2, like this. Now, this is the answer, but um, if you guys were taking the test, make sure you check these two, uh, the x and y values, in both of the equations in order to make sure that it is correct. So let's check using the first equation, the top equation, to make sure this is correct. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6, minus 2 times negative 4 is negative 8, so that's negative 6 plus 8 is 2, and 2 does equal 2, that's true. Uh, in the next equation, again I've replaced the x and y values with the values we think they are, and we'll just check. 5 times negative 2 is negative 10, minus 5 times negative 4 is negative 20, that becomes a plus 20. So negative 10 plus 20 is 10. This is 10. So this just helps us to confirm that what we think those answers are are correct. And this is a good way on a test or a quiz to know that your answer is correct so that you may move on with confidence knowing you'll get full credit for your answer.